What's up guys? We have a fun video for you today. We've got a ton of questions regarding the Axis Art and how it compares to the new Axis Spitfire front wing. So today, Ryan and I are going to walk you guys through the differences between these two front wings. Awesome. All right, let's dive right into it. First category, pumping. How does the Art pump compared to the Spitfire? What are the differences that you've noticed there, Cole? For pumping, clear winner is gonna be the Art. The Art is a sick wing for pumping. Because of that high aspect design, this thing just glides through the water. Minimal effort to pump it. It's a great wing for pumping. Now, the Spitfire isn't that far behind it. You can still pump the Spitfire really well, and I'd take the Spitfire over a lot of other wings that we carry here at the shop, but the Art is definitely easier to pump than the Spitfire. One thing that I did notice with the Spitfire when pumping it, it seemed like a wing that you needed, if you're winging with it, because obviously you're going a little bit faster a lot of times when you're winging than you are prone surfing um, or other, other things like that, is I felt like I had to back down my speed a little bit with the Spitfire to get into that pumping speed range, um, where I didn't notice that quite as much with the ART. It seemed like the art pumped at a little higher speed, a little faster mm -hmm. rate than what the Spitfire does. And, I mean, that makes sense looking at the cord length here and just knowing what we know about foils and how they perform. Yeah, and to add on to what Ryan said, when I was I was proning these two wings back to back, he winged them back to back, the Axis definitely is a different technique compared to a lot of the higher aspect wings that I've rode. It's, it's this interesting cadence and it's really hard to describe, but when you start riding the Spitfire more and more, you'll, you'll feel that cadence. It's almost a little bit slower than the art, just kind of what Ryan was saying there. But you gotta be careful on how aggressive your scoops are when you're pumping. The Axis Spitfire definitely likes shallower pumps when you're pumping on it. All right, next category. Turning, carving, art versus Spitfire. What do we got? Well, again, we have a clear winner in this category. The Axis Spitfire is a great wing for carving. Hands down, it has been my favorite wing to go prone surf with. It's a very surfy front wing. I mean, you can go edge to edge in this thing so easy, and it's just that immediate feedback. And that's just something that you don't see in these higher aspect wings. So I don't know if you felt the same way, Ryan, but. Absolutely. Really easy to get into some high-end performance in terms of carving with the Spitfire. Takes a lot more uh, pressure and input into your foil to get similar sort of performance with the ART. You just have to be so patient with the art. Like the turns just take so long to develop. Like, Yeah, you, you really gotta throw your weight around yeah. with the art to get it to turn how you want it to. Um, whereas the Spitfire, it's just a really rolly, naturally mm -hmm. fun feeling foil. The next category I think is which wing goes faster. What are your thoughts on that? What have you noticed so far, Cole? So when I took these things out and I was in about knee to waist high waves, surprisingly, the Spitfire actually had a higher top end than the ART did. Now, I'm not sure exactly why that is because the higher aspect wing should be able to go faster than the Spitfire, but when I rode them back to back, it seemed like that Spitfire just wanted to go. It didn't feel like the brakes were being put on when I was riding down the line on the thicker parts of the wave. Now, when you're winging, was it, was it the same or did you feel that was um, a little different? Winging, I felt like I hit the, the high end of the Spitfire um, maybe a little bit sooner than the ART, um, but real close. Uh, I felt like I was hitting that top end and then watching some footage later on, noticed that I was going a lot faster than I thought I was going. Um, so it may just be part of that, just it's such a smooth and easy to ride forgiving foil that you end up going faster than what you think you're going um, and not mm -hmm. necessarily noticing it. So definitely need to spend a little more time winging these two back to back to really have a clear answer on that one. But I would say the Spitfire definitely has an impressive speed range um, and I wouldn't put the art uh, above it in terms of speed like I originally thought I would before I had ridden the Spitfire. So really impressed with the the speed in the Spitfire. Uh, currently I'd say it's a it's a draw for me. Needs a little more testing to, uh, to have a clear answer for you on that one. Gotcha. Well on the other side of the spectrum let's talk about the the low end of these foils. Yeah. Which one did you feel like popped up on foil earlier than the other? Yeah, the Spitfire. Clear winner here. Spitfire popped up much easier. Um, 
definitely, it's got a longer cord. It's a more stable pop-up too. Um, just, it's definitely a lot easier to get going with the Spitfire when you're winging than what it is with the ART. The ART requires some speed or some power. If you're not really super powered up, you really gotta get that board speed going to come up and, and ride it um, stable. Whereas the Spitfire, not as big of an issue there. What did you think there in terms of popping up uh, prone foiling? Yeah, so when prone foiling, one thing I noticed was the art definitely got up on foil at a lower speed than Spitfire. The Spitfire had to go a touch faster to get up and on foil. But what was strange was at those lower speeds, so the very bare minimum of when that foil is activating and coming up and out of the water, I noticed that the art was much more stable than the Spitfire. The Spitfire was unstable at those lower speeds, more so than the, the ART was. So that was something I noticed, something minor, but for a beginner rider that, that could make a difference. Interesting. And then uh, going along with that, stall speed. Which one uh, is the winner here, art or Spitfire? You know, this one, this one's tricky. They were pretty close. Now I was in some, again, needle waist high waves and there was a little bit of wind going on there. So I couldn't really tell you if there was a clear winner there. How'd you feel winging? Winging, I would say Spitfire is clear winner here. Stall speed, uh, you can drop this thing down, almost stall it out, pick up your wing and get moving again. Uh, whereas the art glides forever but once you start to slow down, it's going to drop out on you. So um, definitely, I would take the Spitfire uh, for, for stall speed in this, this category. All right, and this is a fun thing. I don't know if you tried it at all, but as far as wing outs go, wing outs have been something that I've been having a lot of fun with the last part of the summer here in the early fall. And for wing outs, the Spitfire, I think I had half the wing out of the water and that thing was still ripping through the turn, which was super fun. The art definitely sucked air down the whole leading edge of the wing and took me down. So the Spitfire for wing outs, sneaky winner. Yeah, I didn't get to do any wing outs with the Spitfire. I have with the art, it does all right. I haven't noticed that, but uh, looking forward to some, some bigger fall days here where I can really test that in the Spitfire. It's a little more challenging to wing out on a, a smaller uh, wingspan there. Um, so you really gotta, gotta get in some, yeah. some good conditions and really, <laughs> yeah give it its money's worth here but um yeah that'll be a fun one to try out is there anything else between these wings that you think everyone should know uh so summarizing here guys the who is the art for who is the spitfire here for uh cool art what kind of rider would like this for prone foiling yeah you know if you're someone that's looking for easy pumping go with the art if you're looking to downwind go with the art now, if you're looking for that surfy foil, you can really get those turns going, you can really carve into that wave and get the most out of it, go with the Spitfire. Um, I think it's that simple. If you're looking to pump, go with the art. If you're looking to turn, go with the Spitfire. What for winging, do you think? How would S you similar thoughts for winging here. If you're looking to get into that wave, really turn aggressively, Spitfire is your clear winner here. Um, it pumps sufficiently. So if you do need to pump around a section or something like that, it will handle that just fine. Now, if you're looking for some of that more downwind, swell riding, gliding, um, especially if you're riding swell at a, a decent speed, I would go for the art. That's gonna be your kind of downwind style of uh, front wing for, for winging. All right. Well, let us know what you guys think in the comment section below if you've had experience on either of these wings. If you guys have any other questions, feel free to drop those in the comment section below as well. If you guys wanna chat with us, reach out to us via live chat, phone or email. You can find all of that through our website. But until next time, this has been Cole and Ryan. Have a fun time shredding and we look forward to seeing you guys in other videos.